Hi Leo! Welcome to your mid-April full moon, bit late, <laughs> reading. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to have you here as usual. I've left you for last. You could argue I've left the best for last. To be honest, um, you guys are having quite a good time this month, energetically speaking. Irrespective of each individual's case, I have to think of the whole when I say things like that. Um, what I mean to say is that you don't seem to be struggling this much. There is no um, rush, no hurry in needing to have a reading like this. Um, but of course, my mid-months wouldn't be complete without you. So forgive me for having to wait this long. But like I said, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. <laughs> Or at least I think you are. <laughs> I think big things are happening for you, um, and it's all happening very quickly. Um, in the sense that it's been a long time coming. Your success has been a long time coming. It got to, it perhaps got to a point where you may have begun to lose hope and were wondering if you were indeed set on the right path towards greatness in your in your field in relation to what it is that you do but a few of you have had breakthroughs recently during this retrograde period which is not so common for most people who tend to wait for things like retrograde season to to be over before they launch projects nothing seems to stop you so Leo. I'm going to begin shuffling the cards and as I shuffle we're gonna have a look at the cards that appeared in your full month reading April's reading that I did and if you haven't checked out that reading please do I've left the link down below but just to remind you of what those cards were they were the Queen of Cups Page of Cups Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, so a lot of Queens there, um, the Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, Temperance, and the Ten of Cups. Something that I may have not mentioned in your monthly reading is the fact that when three Queens pop up in a reading, there's usually it's not always the case but it can be the case that one out of three of these characters does not wish you well or is envious of the success you may be achieving during this time and what makes it tricky to discern between all three characters is that all three will appear, appear charming all three will come to you with aid with love and but one of them bears a fake mask so have a quick look if you want to take a mental snapshot of the cards here they are the ones that appeared this month our central issue is harnessing power Crossing us. Love. This Ace of Cups. Potential. Doesn't have to be love the way that we usually describe love, but abundance. Crowning us. The Six of Cups. Beneath us, our foundation. nine of wands like i said a great deal of work and soul has gone into your work into your projects 
it's taken you such a long time to get to this stage. And while a few of you almost gave up, were almost welcoming the past or ready to just turn back and give up on all that was to come, I'm glad that you didn't. I'm glad that you didn't let this feeling of stagnation get to you or this feeling of hopelessness like you're not achieving enough get to you because now all that's left really is to allow this abundance to just come into your life so that you can see your efforts being divided nicely. Let's see. Recent past. Yeah, this makes sense, you guys. The Ace of Discs, the Ace of Pentacles. So a start of a project that meant a lot to you. The beginning of it. Not the launch. That is something different. But the time that you incepted the idea for this project to take place in your environment and in your world. When you begun to manifest it by willing it. And Leo does this very well when they know what it is that they want. So you generally won't take up or take on a project if it's not something that you truly believe in. Coming up for you, Four of Swords. Can you see the cards or is it too dark? It is a time for you to relax now. What we're dealing with essentially here is the major unfolding of events. So this is the death card in the Sloth deck here. Oh, by the way, yes, this is a new deck <laughs> that I'm using and I'm laying out a Celtic cross for you guys. So transformation, new beginnings, rising above. Successfully, because I see a scythe here. Another ace, the ace of wands in your environment. This is amazing. Look at this. Okay. Ace of pentacles. Ace of cups. And the Ace of Wands. Oh. Excuse me. Bam, bam, bam. So much new beginnings. So much happening and happening so fast, so this wonderful idea, well this is more of an idea, but this concept that you started off with, that you knew had so much money making potential, 
lies here in the past. You see it unfolding now quite beautifully in your environment and you see now just how much potential it truly has to grow into something so great, something that can not only brighten up your life, but brighten up the lives of others around you. You could be dealing with arts here. You could be dealing with music. You could be dealing with something that can really touch other people. If you have, or if you are having any issues though, it's in allowing the love or abundance to flow in. So there are some blockages that we're talking about here. You may be successful in making money. You may be successful in thinking up new sub-concepts that follow this original idea here but you may also be but you may be suffering and having trouble in terms of allowing it to really permeate you perhaps because you don't see the completion here this is your baby and you want to see it grow you want to see it flourish so I understand if there is this uh, need to just keep going and to strive to keep uh, how do I how do I state it you won't stop until you really see returns come to you you won't stop until you've penetrated the scene as much as you can the scene itself so whatever industry you're working in so even though I see you being forced into having a break sometime soon simply because you run the risk of burnout if you don't do this. You just want to keep moving forward. The problem is that unless you open up your heart okay, and accept that you deserve this success and that forcing it to grow and grow and grow without giving it a rest every now and then. You could run the risk of losing the passion that you originally had. And Leo you, thrives on passion and motivation. You get your strength from that. Oh, okay. Aha. This is what we're talking about. And in this deck, this is a rather difficult card to interpret. It's not the Ten of Wands the way that we usually describe it in the Rider Waite, which talks about feeling like there's a huge weight and burden on your shoulders. Here, we're really talking about being void of this connection to love, being void of the more, our more authentic spiritual side of things. It's typical for us to begin a project feeling really excited about it, right? Having so much passion to make, to turn it into something quite large. And we, use, we use this passion to motivate us. And then we get, into, we get into the logistics of it, we start working really hard, we recruit our team, we build up a culture and a community based on the beliefs and values that we all have in common. And we want to work towards a better future. The problem is that somewhere down the line, we forget, you know, with all the hard work that we have to put up with, we forget why it is that we even started it. And that's what I mean by running the risk of burning out, running the risk of forgetting um, that you deserve to take a break, you deserve to give yourself some love, you deserve to allow this success to reach other parts of your life be it your relationship with yourself, 
relationship with the ones that you love around you because if you work all day, all night, then you're not giving enough time for the people who care about you. And you're not giving enough time for yourself either. Even if this is your baby, essentially, that you you want to take care of, it's your everything. Life is a lot more than that. Sure, you derive so much content through your work as it stands now. But oppression, the Ten of Wands here, really talks about a lack of connectivity with our true selves, the core, the very core, the reason why you endeavored to bring this to society. There is this fear of it turning into something that you might start to hate, regret, feel bitter about. But this is only a fear, and this is only a possibility, and you have the will to change the, the course of events. When I get the Ten of Wands using this deck, it tells me that my guides are no longer with me. I'm only meant to draw one more card, but... I guess it seems appropriate for us to just listen to these three. That's pop cap now, okay? Just since they flipped in the deck. Because when we, so when we get a card like oppression here, we start to wonder why, we start to wonder what this truly means. What is the step that comes after this number 10 here, denoting a completion? denoting the maximum level that you reach in a given element. Here we're talking about fire element. We're talking about reaching the most, that's it, like we've, we have burnt out. We've exhausted all of our passion and our motivation, and there's not much more that we can do anymore about it. So... Do we give in to worldly pleasures, our urges here? Do we regress back to the point of waiting for us to see a return in our investment with this three of uh, wands, which talks about patience here being a virtue, which talks about having done all the work and then just, you, you know, you've set your intentions, you've put it out there in the universe, and you've physically done the work, and all that's left to do is just wait. It's putting it in the hands of God, essentially. Much like this Queen of Discs here, she's staring out into the horizon, we could say. She's got her wealth in the palm of her hands. She's got her guards watching over her. But she herself has turned into something that is somewhat like a spawn of this devil card here. So she's not entirely pure anymore. She knows what it's like to have accumulate, accumulated wealth and power, and she knows what it's like to use these assets to her advantage. 
She's looking out into the horizon almost as though contemplating how it is that she can expand her ter territory in a way it's sort of similar to the Two of Wands. Yet the Two of Wands is still very much at the beginning of a journey, whereas the Queen of Discs has almost ended her journey. She already has what she needs. The Two of Wands is lacking in what he needs. Yet when I look at her here in this card, I, I sense almost the same kind of loneliness that the Two of Wands experiences, where he has a huge giant house, all this land, all to himself, but he's waiting for the ideal mate and partner to come along to share things with. She has all this wealth and luxury, but she wants more of a reason to spend it all. And that's how I relate it to this devil card here. Our urge and our temptation to do something with what we've made so far that is not paralleling the real reason why we even started our business or this community or whatever it is that I'm sensing here, which can is open to interpretation. So let's say that you started a business, that, a charity of sorts that intends to help people. Essentially, you had this idea of making it a non-profit or any profits that come your way be donated to other charities. This is all hypothetical, right? But you get to a point in success where you want to see something come out of it for yourself. And it's almost, it's natural, right? That you want a piece of this cake. Even though once upon a time, you figure to yourself, nah, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for others. But like I said, we get lost in the work. We get consumed. And it's normal to sometimes go on a power trip as well, especially if this is something that you built from the ground up. You want to sense that you have full control over the situation, your team, and the direction your work is headed in. You have a choice to make. You will either remind yourself of why this is meaningful to you, or you will give in, or rather give up, give up, on trying to find love in this business. And you'll become someone who's trapped in their own material wealth that has nothing to do with why they started this, but just happens to be a happy byproduct of it all. What will it be? So you don't have one outcome card here, but four, if we think about it. reading and I'm not so sure if it's going to make sense to everyone but that's kind of what I'm picking up on here so I hope it's helpful <laughs> I shall conclude your reading there Leo and wish you a great Easter and rest of the month I will see you month.
Take care of yourselves.